Even though we're well into the age of digital photography, there's still a large community of people who prefer analog. I'm here at the Lomography store in New York to see what it's all about. I'm here with Nicole Bogotitis, store manager of Lomography here in New York. Nicole, what exactly is Lomography? Um, Lomography is, um, in addition to you know, the cameras that we make and sell, um, it's kind of a philosophy and a, a way of shooting and kind of being creative and experimental. It's, it's kind of this all-encompassing uh, <laughs> way of creative, photographic, analog way of life. There are 10 rules of Lomography. Can you tell me what those are? Some of them just kind of uh, go along with, with how we encourage people to kind of shoot with the cameras. One of them is don't think. Um, that's kind of one where we uh, encourage people to not really worry about you know, settings or, or specific lighting conditions. It's kind of just adopting Lomography um, to be part of your life. What would you say is the appeal of film? Why, why do people prefer analog cameras to digital cameras? Analog, we like to think it's, it's a lot warmer and analog ends up meaning love. And it's nice to have something that um, yeah, you can actually see and hold and feel and, and share with people. And you manipulate it through the camera rather than in the process of developing. Yeah, yeah, it feels a little more hands-on and, and, and a little more of a personal touch. Can I check out a few of the cameras? Of course. Okay, great. So what's special about the Diana camera? Why is so many people crazy about it? Um, the Diana was originally um, made in like the 50s and 60s. Since it's kind of very lo-fi, uh, you get these like really dreamy and um, like soft focus with a lot of vignetting around the edges. And the fact that the Diana is made out of plastic and it has a plastic lens, um, the plastic kind of gives it that soft focus kind of look to it. These are the Pop 9, which has uh, nine different lenses on it. So it's kind of this pop art kind of look. You get um, yeah, nine different little squares that all have the same image. And these are the fisheye camera. They're um, kind of the world's first 35 millimeter fixed lens fisheye camera. It's super easy to use and super portable, and it's really affordable, which is cool. One of the, the flashes that we have is the color splash flash. And the cool thing about it is that you can um, change the color of the flash. It has got a rotating chamber where you can change out the filters. And it comes with like 12 different colors. Oh, so cool. yeah, it's, it's really fun. Thank you for talking to us today, Nicole. Yeah, you're welcome. So I'm going to take this Pop 9 and this Fisheye and my own Diana camera out now and take some pictures of my own. Yeah, great. I can't wait to see what develops.